Hey y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your girl True and I am back with another one. So this message is gonna be for my cancers, sun, moon, and rising. If you haven't already, make sure you go head on over and check your other placements. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you head on over and hit that subscribe. If you are uh, returning, gang, gang, welcome back. Ah! <laughs> gang gang welcome back y'all um so we're gonna start today's reading with cancer so this reading this video is gonna be for my lovely cancers my beautiful and handsome cancers we're gonna see what's in store for you guys as you guys know we are approaching a full moon as well as a retrograde as well as today is friday the 13th we just got a lot going on so i had to bust down with a reading for the family to see what's going on help y'all out to see what for y'all you know what to expect for the team, um, what, what to watch out for, or whatever spirit has for you guys. So this is going to be for my cancers here, sun, moon, and rising, sun, moon, and rising. I want you guys to take what resonates, leave what does not, um, and we about to head on over. Make sure you hit that subscribe if you haven't already. All righty. Let's see what spirit has. Don't take those, okay? Okay, so we got the King of Cups, and then we have the Five of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. So right now, I'm seeing that you guys have been either working on your emotions, or you guys have been standing firm in your emotions. You guys are showing up in your own reading, being as the King of Cups. Um, so you guys are definitely, definitely, definitely heavy in your own reading. So it's been about y'all I'm getting lately. Like, y'all, all that other people please and stuff that you cancers may have been doing in the past. You guys may, y'all on some cutting that out. Yeah, this is after. So y'all got the Five of Pentacles um, and then the Ten of Swords. So I am seeing some of you guys could have possibly, um, with the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Give me one moment. Let me show you guys. Some of you guys could have definitely uh, either been put out of your home. You guys could have even lost a job. Something ended for you guys. It was a, uh, something ended and you guys are still crying over it. You guys are still in depression over whatever this is that ended. Uh, for some of you guys, it's, it's causing a lot of emotional pain. You you guys are basically crying over spilled milk. But Spirit is basically saying to stop crying over spilled milk. See whatever, uh, what did you do wrong within this situation? Or what did you do to allow this situation to play out in a way that it, it did? Um, cancers. Yeah, this is somebody, give me one moment. So you guys went from the, the five of pentacles to the six of pentacles. So I am seeing that whatever situation you guys are in right now, it could be financial for a lot of you guys. You guys could be dealing with a uh, financial situations for a lot of you guys. You guys are, okay, what's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, okay, okay. So for a lot of you guys, I'm getting, as I was saying that I heard, um, it's love too. <laughs> it's love too. Okay, yeah, then you guys got the, it's back behind the thing, five of pentacles, okay. Yeah, so you guys right now, you guys are going through some financial issues and you guys are going through some emotional issues right now, I'm seeing. Spirit wants me to let you guys know that things is definitely gonna look up. You guys went from the five of pentacles to the six of pentacles. As I see here at the bottom of the deck, you guys have the knight of cups. So Spirit wants me to let you guys know to basically pick yourself up um with this ten of, ten of swords here i'm seeing that you guys are kind of letting this like daunt you kind of slowing you up it kind of slowed you up a little bit this this downfall or this this hit that this that you guys um are going through understand that the retrograde doesn't have you go through anything what a retrograde does um is basically put shines light on whatever it is you need to heal or fix within your life and for certain people when it has come overdue it's gonna knock all of that out and make sure you have no choice but to fix it in your life so let's just say um this person broke up with you and you're so devastated no you were being supposed to let this person go you had all the signs in the world to let this person go um but you just wasn't paying attention to them due to whatever healing that you needed to do. You were ignoring those signs and, and, and um, synchronicities that that spirit was sending you. Or let's just say this job was stressing you out or you you been knew that that whatever was going on with this job and now you lost this job or you feel like this job, you lost this job. No, the job lost you first off and second off, um, you were been supposed to quit this job. You were being you were becoming um, stagnant with 
bare minimum and spirit was like this is not this is not what they have for you this spouse was bare minimum this spouse was only for you to only here to get you to the next level this job was only here to get you to handle that one or two bills and you were supposed to be uh, uh applying for something better or you were supposed to while you were working that job you were supposed to be building your own business but you got lazy and you didn't do this um but you didn't do that. So basically spirit had to strip you of it. So then you could come in and you can get 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 what you were. I'm getting that you were penny pinching yourself. You were basically out here penny pinching yourself. So spirit had to snatch everything, everything that did not serve you for of your highest good. So spirit wants me to let you guys know to look at things in a in a brighter light and a more positive perspective. Okay. Spirit said take them. All right. Thank you, spirit. So you guys have the six of the six of wands and then the fool card that popped out behind the six of wands. So spirit wants me to let you guys know that it's time to take that leap of faith. Whatever it is you've been holding on to, whatever it is you ain't been trying to cut out your life, whatever it is to finish it up, to finish these cycles out, I'm getting. It's time to finish out these cycles. You are the magician. You are the magician. So you got the magician here that came out. Then you got the two of cups and then you got the ten of cups. So definitely right now I'm getting that you guys may be manifesting this retrograde. If you have not, it's time to go within. It's time to do your healing. It's time to do your shadow work. And it's time to start your manifestations. It's time to write down what it is you want out of life. This retrograde is time to write down what you don't want out of life. And it's time to go after that shit. Y'all hear me? Spirit is saying it's time to write down what you want, write down what you do not want, and go after this shit. Spirit also wants me to let you guys know, Cancers, right now, you guys are manifesting some real love. You guys have the Two of Cups and then the Ten of Cups. The Two of Cups and then the Ten of Cups. Baby, listen. Y'all manifesting another water sign. I just got Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. For some of you guys, it could also be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. It could also be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, but I'm getting Pisces, uh, Cancer, Scorpio. You guys are manifesting an equal cup of love. You guys are definitely manifesting an equal equal cup of love. But Spirit wants me to let you go. Your let you know that the partner that you guys are manifesting during this retrograde, it may not be who you guys think it is. It may not be who you think it is, Cancer. Um. Yeah, it's going to be something so much greater. I just heard it's going to be something so much greater. So I, I'm feeling a little weak in you guys' energy, like I'm, I'm lack of energy. Spirit is telling me to let you guys know to eat some greens, to get your smoothies. In your smoothies, get your energy boosters to get your energy up so you can have the energy to go out and tackle and manifest all of these things that you are needing to, that you wanting to manifest. For a lot of you guys, it's time to, when you are applying for jobs, Spirit is saying do not apply for anything, anything under twenty dollars an hour you're not going to be able to live so somebody on here is applying for jobs 14 15 dollars an hour are you only applying to put yourself back into a struggle you are signing up to put yourself back into a struggle y'all heard what i said for somebody on here so stop applying to those little minimum wage jobs it's time to find somebody to tweak up your resume understand every job has a training that's when you do your learning do you hear me all right um but don't go out of your way and don't be talking about some oh you an architect and some other y'all know what i mean but you know it's those jobs where you can still qualify where you just got to tweak your resume a little bit and you can get three to four dollars more okay um that's for somebody on here that is for somebody on here but right now i'm definitely seeing you guys are feeling left out in the cold like you guys are getting a short end of the stick you guys are definitely ending out cycles you guys are completing cycles things is ending um again you guys could have just ended a job could have just got put out of could have just got and put put out of a home understand that 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 home you was being supposed to move out you got too comfortable that job you was being supposed to quit you just got too comfortable baby so it's time to go after more it's time to get more this retrograde it's time to pour into yourself it's time to take that leap of faith it's time to go it's time i'm here and it's time to step on next and not let up okay all right, Cancer. So that's what I have for you guys. It's time to step on next and not let up. It's time to also, uh, um, I just heard, move towards common waters. So whatever this sage is going off. So y'all are around a lot of negative energy I'm picking up on. There's a lot of negative energy around you guys. So it's time to change you inside, work on your heart chakra, and... um. Pay attention to the energies around you and make sure that you're only allowing positive energies around you. Cut out any negative energy people, whether that's a mama, a daddy, a sister, a brother, whoever. 
Yes, toxic people, karmics are family members too. Yes, they are. And you do not have to deal with them. All right. Um, all right. So that, oh, I didn't even get anything out of here for y'all. Let's see. Let's see. These messages for y'all. So yesterday's messages were quick. Y'all in y'all bag. Somebody is definitely plotting on you guys. Somebody paid to have dark magic put on you. So if you feel like you've been going through a lot of different shit, if you guys dealing with somebody that's also spiritual, somebody has paid uh, cancer to have dark magic put on you. Somebody paid somebody to have dark magic put on you. But what they did not know is how protected you were. What they did not know is how protected you were. So don't get into your head thinking everything that you're going through right now is due to this dark magic spirit. If you're feeling like that or if you feel like, damn, yeah, somebody put something on me and that's why I'm going through what I'm going through. No, spirit wants me to let you know you're going through what you are going through because there's lessons that you need to learn. This has nothing to do with nobody putting any black magic on you or anything like that. But there is someone out there. Like I said, I just said this sage is going to fuck off. My sage ain't stopped going off. And I just said y'all got negative energy around y'all. Y'all got to get that negative energy from around y'all so go do some cleanses go do some baths um hit me up personally um somebody is definitely trying to trap you guys somebody is trying to have you guys trapped stagnant stuck where you guys can't make any money type of ordeal it's just i'm getting real nasty ugly energy from whoever this person is so watch out for them please watch out for them this could be um this could be a um a earth or an air sign. This is definitely an earth or an air sign that's doing this black magic. I'm getting heavy on the air sign. Heavy, 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 heavy on um on the air sign, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. But they definitely pay. Like they didn't do the black magic themselves. They wasn't bad about it. Um, but they pay somebody else to do it. Like it was going. So what I need people to understand that just because you pay somebody else to do dark magic baby it still comes back on you too the person that did the dark magic depending on who they do the dark magic on and their protection um it'll come back on them too but just because you somebody else paid somebody else to do it you still going to get your karma baby so spirit wants me to let you know keep your head afloat you are protected nothing that anybody has done to you um has come has harmed you the things that you are going through right now is because you need to learn your lessons you need to do some healing inside you need to do some major shadow work chakra healing shadow work and chakra healing i just heard for you guys um i want to see you yeah somebody wants to see you Somebody from your past wants to see you as well. This retrograde, they may hit you up and let you guys know, Cancer. All right, that's what I have for you guys. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you guys hit that like button because I know it resonated. Drop me a comment of love to throw me in that algorithm. And I send you guys nothing but love and light. Love and light. Get your head up. Pick your head up. Stop crying over spilled milk. Understand that you did not lose anything. It lost you, okay? All right, y'all, that's the message that I have for you guys. And understand, as long as you move out of love, you will always win. Peace.